Uh, so now that we have uh, it's installed, let's go ahead and get Postgres installed. And after we get Postgres installed, we'll start to get the Phoenix project going. So I'm going to copy and paste the command in the description. First, we want to add the package repository here. So go ahead and throw that in there. Yep. Missed a S on that, that's why it didn't go. Really? Okay. This now it's just being difficult. Okay, so we've added that on there. And we should go to sudo. Okay. Just want to update the repositories for it. Get those packages, come on, go, 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 go. After that, we we'll want to go ahead and install it here. So let's copy and paste this command as well to the uh, description. Postgres client, common, it's kind of important. Um, kind of is, kind of isn't. Depends on what you want to do from the command and tools. Oh, that's popping up, and I don't want it to paste the terminal as well. So this is going to take a little bit to run. Go ahead and throw those in. And we'll be back on with our Okay, now we've got installed. So we can't just log in PSQL like that because probably doesn't have that role. So do su su postgres switch user and we should be able to psql just like that um but we don't want to exactly do that quite yet so we'll just hit slash q command and we're going to create a user we're going to do that using the create user command go ahead and run there Didn't like us there, so we'll have to do it manually. Uh, I thought we had installed this correctly. I guess we didn't. Um, that's fine. Uh, actually, it might do us justice if we do it here. And I'll create a user. Uh, you know what? Is it create or create a user? Oh, it is. So we've got a little typo there. I'm going to create a password for this one. It's a password because we are very creative. Failed for user Postgres. Uh, probably just have to come back in here. And then do the exact same. Okay, so now we should have our user in. Uh, as, so user CJ, password, password. Okay, so, so now once you be all set to go, we can create databases and start using it.